Coming up on this week, we look back at the Experience Louisiana Festival, we take a look at safety on campus, and registration is underway. Welcome to This Week at LSU Units. I'm Michaela. The Experience Louisiana Festival, hosted by LSU Units, wrapped up last month and estimates are that over 5,000 people walk the campus grounds enjoying the sights, sounds, and tastes of Louisiana. Heidi takes a look back. The Experience Louisiana Festival, hosted by LSU Units last month, brought people from all over the world to campus. The festival was held in conjunction with the Eunice Rotary Club, the National Park Service, the City of Eunice, the St. Landry Parish Tourist Commission, and the Louisiana Department of Tourism. The festival, a revitalization of the old Louisiana Folklife Festival, tried to give visitors an overview of folklife, food, and music of Louisiana. The festival, a revitalization of the former Louisiana Folklife Festival, which was extremely popular, tried to give visitors an overview of folklife, food, and music of Louisiana. Folk artists and Native American demonstrators presented a look at what makes Louisiana unique. Authentic Louisiana food and music ranging from bluegrass to zydeco entertain visitors and the like. Festival organizers were extremely excited with the success of the first event. We're just really excited to report about a great weekend. The festival weekend was beautiful weather-wise and uh, everyone coming together in the community spirit and all that it brought together with the food and the music and the folk demonstrators and all of the partners and the roles they played made everything happen really, really smoothly. And the invisible army of volunteers that were kind of behind the scenes making things happen uh, just, just really made the weekend worthwhile. As a, as a festival, but I think the, the region and the state has something we can be proud of going forward. And organizers have already met to review how to improve the festival and have started working on plans for next year's festival. Next year, we'll be there again on October 22nd and 23rd, so come out and see the campus, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the food, and especially meet the students and faculty. It'll be an experience you'll never want to forget. Proceeds from the festival will benefit the LSU Eunice Scholarship Program. Organizers plan to present a check to the scholarship fund in the coming weeks. We'll have more as the story evolves. Back to you, Michaela. Thanks, Heidi. Registration is currently underway for the spring semester. Students are encouraged to sign up for classes now during the early registration period to make sure that they get the classes they want. Early registration ends January 8th. The National Guard presented Dr. Randy Esters with the Patriot Award for his dedication to servicemen employed in his department. The award that the doctor received is called the Patriot Award, and it is the, uh, the lowest level award that we give out, and it's just to show our appreciation for one of the Guardsmen or Reservists. They recognize that their uh, employer does a good job in working with them. If they have a change or whatever, it doesn't give them grief about it. And uh, so we present. The French Club met in the Community Education Building's demonstration kitchen. The club watched as foreign language instructor Madame Jalet Gautreau made crepes for the group. Madame Gautreau demonstrated the techniques used to make crepes and provided the club with the recipe and tasting samples. As part of an effort to improve security on campus, LSU Police Chief Lawrence Rabelais and his team conducted a complete assessment of safety and security procedures at LSUE. They have also loaned the campus LSUE Police Captain Corey Lalonde. One of the things that I believe Dr. Alexander, Dr. Uh, Russell wanted, as well as Chief Lawrence Rabelais with the LSU Police Department, uh, you know, they've made a commitment to put a law enforcement presence here on the LSUE campus. Uh, so uh, I've been assigned here temporarily. Uh, in a role of providing that presence here first and foremost. In addition to that, we're going to be assessing uh, the security of, of the campus, the, uh, the ongoings and operations of the campus, uh, and see uh, where we can improve and build upon that law enforcement presence here for the future. LSU will work to move forward with a plan that may include additional officers, security cameras, and closer coordination with city and parish police. LSUE can now offer students free Microsoft Office. Sage takes a look. LSU Unis has teamed up with Microsoft Office 365 Education to offer free software to students. Office 365 Education includes Office Online and one terabyte of OneDrive storage. 
To sign up for Office 365, visit office.lsue.edu, then enter your LSUE email address, and here's the most important step. Use your MyLSUE password. Once you have access to the account, you can download the Office suite of products onto your computer, laptop, phone, or tablet. Microsoft allows you to install the applications on up to five PCs or Macs. You can use the plan until you graduate from LSUE. Microsoft has worked out agreements with most universities in the state, so you can easily transfer your Office 365 plan if you choose to attend another university. LSUE has funded this project using student technology fees. And don't forget, LSUE students still have access to unlimited storage space on Google Drive. Just log into Google with your LSUE email and password and have access to tons of cloud storage all for free. Back to you, Michaela. Thanks, Sage. LSUE Performing Arts hosted Ken Waldman, the Alaskan Fiddler. Waldman is no stranger to LSU Eunice, having entertained students before on numerous trips to campus. Waldman uses his music and performances as a backdrop as he shares original poems, tells stories, most often about the music or about Alaska. for a look at Bingo Athletics. The Lady Bingos have started play with nine games under their belt this month. The girls lost six straight matches before pulling off their first win of the season against Henry Ford Community College at the Gulf Coast State Classic. We sat down with sophomore guard Katie Lemieux. I'm not going to say we're not playing together, but uh, it's gonna, I think it's going to take more experience and time to really come together as a team because only four of us are returning. Okay, out of the four returning, only um, two of us played together last year. So it's really it's hard to say that we have a lot of chemistry because we don't, but uh, I honestly think that it's going to get there because the new girls that we have coming in are really talented and really coachable. So I think we can. it's going to come together eventually. Lemieux leads the team in scoring right now with an average of 18.2 points a game. Sophomore Becca Brooks is averaging 12.6 points a game and is sinking 88% of her shots. She's also sixth in the nation in Division I with three-point shots. Bingo Baseball hosted the best of seven inter-squad series. In the series, the Gold Team put off the win in the fifth game. The Gold Team won three in a row to take the annual series. The 2015 baseball squad will receive their championship rings at halftime on December 12th basketball game. Go Golden Girls! Softball has finished their fall play after taking on teams like LSU, McNeese, and UL Lafayette. Their girls also had several inter-squad series. Both baseball and softball start their play in January. One of the important things in the fall is, you know, really teaching the girls how we do things. Um, our way of different things and to see them really learn about each other and learn to come together. You know, this year we have 16 new kids and only six returners. So um, we're starting, we got a fresh group and they're learning each other and the sophomores are doing an awesome job of, you know, having these girls piggyback on them and uh, they're doing really great with the leadership role right now. And that's it for sports. Back to you, Michaela. Thanks, Willie. That's it for this week. We'll be back in two weeks with another look at what's happening around campus.